what is going on and welcome back to what shall we do next i'm mike your host and i hope you guys are having the best day ever before i get started guys if you are new here please subscribe if you haven't already done that we're on the road to 82,000 subscribers and i would love you to join me on this journey so hit subscribe and join the fam and also guys go follow me on all my social media links are in the description i have facebook twitter instagram and even snapchat so go follow me on all of those and as you guys know i recently started a facebook account so you can add me on facebook and we can be Facebook friends, so go do that link is in the description. And finally, be sure to turn on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button, that way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you! But once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video, and today, we are talking about another scary story. And this scary story is called... The Other Side. So the story of The Other Side is about this creepy abandoned house which has a sign outside, this really strange sign with a phone number on it. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's get right over to the story. The Other Side. When I was growing up, there was an abandoned building in my neighborhood that was said to be haunted. I don't know if it had been a shop or just a private residence, but there was an old sign on the wall that read, The Other Side. There was also a telephone number on the sign. There was an urban legend about it. They said that if you called that number, you would be connected to the spirit world. One day, I wrote down the number on a piece of paper, and when I got home, I decided to call it. This was long before everyone had cell phones, so I was using my home phone to make the call. When I dialed the number, I heard the sound of ringing on the other end, but nobody picked up. I called it a few more times, but no matter how long I waited, no one answered. To amuse ourselves, my friends and I called the number several times, but it just rang and rang. One day, my friends came over to my house to hang out, and one of them came up with an idea. Why don't we go over to the abandoned house tonight and break in? He said. One person can stay here and call the number. Then we can check if we hear our phone ringing. It sounded like fun, so we decided to do it. My friends left and I stayed at home by the phone. I waited for a while giving them enough time to get to the abandoned house and go inside. And then I called the number. I heard the usual ringing sound, but then there was some sort of interference on the line. All of a sudden, the ringing stopped, and it sounded as if the phone was answered. I thought that one of my friends had picked up the phone, so I asked, how's it going over there? But I didn't get a reply. Instead, I heard a strange voice on the other end of the phone. It sounded like hundreds of different voices, some male, some female, some low and gravelly, some shaky and high pitched, all speaking together. The voice said, they have arrived, and then the call was cut off. I was so scared, I was literally trembling with fear as I waited for everyone to come back. However, my friends never came back that day. I was worried about them, so I called all of them at their houses. They all answered and said the same thing, that the phone didn't ring at all, so we got bored and went home. I thought it was quite odd that they would all go home without saying anything. 
After that, my friends stopped hanging out with me. Whenever I called them and asked them if they wanted to meet up, they always made excuses. Little by little, we stopped keeping in contact, and somehow, we all became estranged. Years later, I went to my school reunion. I was hoping to meet my old friends, but none of them showed up. When I asked about them, I was told that they had all died of a mysterious illness many years ago. And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I thought it was pretty creepy the way it leaves you with a cliffhanger like that. Like what happened next? Are they, what happened to them? Why did they turn against their friend? Why are they like, what was it that they died of? Why they stopped hanging out with this guy who stayed at home on the phone? And there's a lot of questions that need to be asked in a situation like this. But I wonder what happened really like what happened i don't know if this is a true story or not but you never know with these things and i i like to theorize things too like i like to come up with theories my theory for this one is like it's a tricky one because like i said it's it's going to take a lot of work there's a lot of things that need to be answered and i'm thinking number one why did they all of a sudden like what was it that they saw at this house when he called that number or what was it that they heard that made them like turn against him like did they get possessed or did they see something that maybe told them not to talk to that person anymore or I don't know I'm lost I am completely lost I don't know but something happened in that house to make them do that something happened even if it was like just a prank you would do it for maybe a week like if you were pulling a prank on the person but you wouldn't do it like for the rest of ever you wouldn't stop talking to your friend for the rest of ever because of like this phone call thing in the house and the other thing is the mysterious illness that they all died of like i want to know what happened there too but it's one of those stories it leaves you with a cliffhanger it leaves you wondering it leaves you asking questions and it doesn't ever give you the answer i don't think we'll ever find out the answer but overall i thought it was a pretty cool story i like stories like this where they leave you with a cliffhanger um they are frustrating because you want to know more but they're also very like they keep your brain active they keep you I want to say sane, but if anything, they probably make you go insane because it's like reading this kind of stuff every single day starts to play with your brain a little bit. But my question to all of you for question of the day is, what do you think happened to these guys, to the guys that went to the house? Do you think that this, they saw something or they heard something or do you think that they, I don't know, what do you think happened? Because I mean, obviously when he heard on the phone that, you know, like these voices, maybe he did reach the spirit world, but why would that affect his friends. Let me know what you guys think. That is question of the day. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please slap a like on it. Let's see if we can go for 26 billion likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys didn't see my previous video, which was about this creepy old man who lives in this house that's all like decaying and falling to pieces right by the sea. And uh, apparently there's a lot of like local rumors about him. And um, as far as I was concerned, you know, he was just an old man. But it gets ugly. So if you guys are interested in hearing that story, if you didn't hear it already, then click on the outro when it comes on and you can click right here and it will take you over to that. And if you guys just want to watch a random video, you can click this side and it will do exactly the same thing. But thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. Remember the most important thing, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you all. Peace out. Don't let anybody bring you down. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace.